Hey there, we're so excited to finally announce you that we now have the slideshows elements available inside your Flexbox. So obviously what you need to do to get started is to open a flex block and then inside that flex block we'll click on add new element and here at the bottom we will find the sliders tabs uh, submenu and here we'll have several compositions like tabs, slideshows and testimonials and as you can see each composition is created from several uh, sub elements that are actually creating the element itself so for the tabs you will need the tabs content, the tabs feature for a slideshow, for example, you'll need the slideshow content, arrows, and text, likewise for testimonials. So what you can do, you can either start with one of the predefined uh, elements, or you can create them from scratch by adding each element individually. What I would recommend doing is just uh, going and starting with one of the predefined elements. So let's assume I want to use slideshow. As you can see, it will automatically add all of my elements that I need. So I do have my image in here, my text, and then my arrows. So what's important for you to note is that there are two areas where you'll make your changes. So we have one element that's responsible for um, for the content itself. And then we have also like layout options and then we have like the text element. So that's what you'll have to keep in mind is that when you'll want to change, for example, the content itself, you'll have to make changes inside this element. But if you want to change, for example, the position or the design of the text itself, then we're gonna play around with the slide text. So to get started, what you'll need to do is obviously just double click on the element and then go to the items tab right here. So to get started, we'll want to add our content. And to do that, you'll have to go to the items widget, widget uh, and then we'll click, double click on, for example, item one. And the name of the tab is added and it can be customized just so it's easier for you to recognize the element inside the item um, the item drop down, uh, but once you do that, go ahead and select, for example, the images, um, and then you we can start actually like polishing and adjusting our text, uh, title and lower title. The lower title can be used as some ty type of metadata like the author, the category, and so on. So you can also like have an option to add like a link for your image. So if you want, for example, to display a button or you want the whole area to be clickable, you can play around with a link type uh, element. Again, as I remember, as I uh, mentioned earlier, if we want to add the content itself, we're going to make those changes inside the slideshow content. But if you want, for example, to display the buttons that you, that you just uh, enabled, what I need to do is just go to the settings of the slide text, because again, this is the element that's responsible for the positioning um, and the look of the text and everything that's related to the content itself. Um, and then so I'll go back to my slideshow content. And once you've added your items, we can just go ahead and customize the layout and also the image options. If you want, you can add a 100 pixel uh, corner radius for the images, but again, that's up to you. You can do it like this. Next, I'll just go to layout, and we do have two areas in here. We have the one slide or the visible nearby option. So if we're working with the visible nearby, as you can see, we'll have the images not be full width, but actually like just take the width of element, and then depending on how many elements you've added, um, that's how many images will be displayed inside the slideshow. The slide speed, this is responsible when you actually like click on the arrows and how like how fast the, uh, the next image will change. And also this is also the area where you will adjust your slide speed in case you're using an autoplay option. Um, if you're using the visible nearby option, I would just recommend using the center mode. Um, so in this way, like the first element of your slideshow will appear in the center rather than on the left side. Again, you have an option to add an, an uh, animation for your slide and you can adjust this like this, as we can see. And then you can adjust the animation itself. 
And then we can play with the spacing options like the width of the slide, the gap between the items and so on. Uh, and that would be basically everything that I need to be aware of right now when it comes to the layout options of the slideshow uh, content element. We'll now go to the slide text and in here again you'll have to mainly customize and work with the layout options to set your text alignment to choose whether you want to display your text, your title, your lower title, all your buttons. You can play with the gaps. You have an option to customize, obviously, the styling of a button, uh, the typography of each text element, and the colors. Also, about the colors, in case, for example, you will use a one slide layout option, for example, like this, obviously, you would need to customize the colors of each element, uh, of each text element for that slide. And the way you do it, we'll just go back to slideshow content. We'll go back to items and then in here we will add, we will enable this option and we will set our custom color that will be enabled for this particular slide. Like that and then uh, that color will also be displayed. So that's basically everything that I need to know about managing the layout and then the text of your slideshow. The last element to discuss and to cover is uh, the arrows or the switcher itself. So there are several options for you when it comes to the styling. You can either choose to have it displayed as a text or icon, and also you do have a few more options for the design of the icon itself. Obviously, you can also set the alignment, adjust its size, its colors, like this, and also you can add a hover button. Um, so what's important about this one, in case you'll add, I don't know, more uh, sliders or more elements in one flex block, what's important is that you actually connect these arrows with a specific slideshow content or a tab's content. So as you can see here, I do have one element, but if I'll add a new tab's content like this, I would want to make sure that this arrow is connected, for example, with my tabs element. So just go to advanced, and then from here, I'll have to select the element that I needed to be connected to. But please note that unless you'll add more um, slideshows or tabs elements inside one flex block, you don't really need to worry about the advanced uh, setting right here, because the arrows will be connected automatically to the only slideshow or tabs content element that you have. So once you've done that, we'll just move forward to uh, the mobile layout. And what's important is that you actually make sure that you migrate all of the elements from the desktop to the mobile version, um, like this. And then, obviously, you can disable the synchronization between the two and just have, for example, uh, a different layout for your mobile version. But basically, the whole process of how to create a slider, the very same principle will be applied for tabs elements and also for testimonials, but you'll have the details for those elements inside the article below. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Bye-bye.